One last thing that I want to show you about the, the refresh tokens is that uh, if you head over the tokens tab in here, you can debug the status of the, uh, of the token. Oh, I lost my connection. I can just turn this off. Um, so I if you head this, uh, to this page and click to any of the tokens, uh, you will see the some of the values. This is the token ID, which is not the token itself. Uh, this is just the the ID that the library generates. Um, so it kind of gets you the the type of the token. This is the refresh token that when it changed, when it was um, expired, and this also gives you uh, the expiration date. Um, which may be handy. You will see that when you use a refresh token, so these are the two last tokens that we used, uh, that we created uh, using the refresh token grant. Um, when you use the refresh token, the, the access token, the previous access token, and the previous refresh token, they are revoked. You can see that the publishing status is off. So if you try to use the revoked token, it will not get you any access. Um, and that is uh, by design. So if you lose a, a token, it will get revoked over time and, uh, or it will expire and uh, it will not be able to, to be used. Uh, so if someone steals the token, uh, chances are that they will not be able to use it. Um, that's it. Next on is the client credentials grant.